Hello friends, welcome to the session. In last session, we learn about outputting the dynamic content in React. And in this session, we will learn about spread operator and what it does. So for that, let's change this state of text value to an object where I will write first and I will give something and I will write second and I will give something. So for now, let's put this break line here and let's make another paragraph in input field. So what I am going to do is I will show the first here and the second here. So similarly, I will make another handle change part two for second case and I will call handle change two here. So I will make one text object here which will mock which will change first property and this first property will be this e dot target dot value. So inside this text I will write text object. So similarly in this also what we can do is we can write in place of false we can write second because this should change the second right and the same thing as it is so this should work right but it won't work why i will explain let's see the result what happened so whenever i write a here a is getting shown as expected but when I write B in below see the above A get replaced and there is only B and whenever I write anything here it is working but again if I write anything here the B from the state number 2 get removed so that is an issue here so to solve this issue we will use something called spread operator I will get into it what it does. So here what we will do is we will write three dot and we will write state this dot state dot and text. So what this thing thing does is it will spread out the text text object that is this first and second over here it will make first and this thing second and second value here and there is already first and second right here and again i am writing first so what this first here does is it just override the first that is getting cloned here by this spread operator so this spread operator help us to clone the original original object so this spread operator can be used in case of arrays as well so i will show that as well so for now let's understand that it just spread the content of the object first object of text to here so let let's put it here as well and let's see what happened so i write abc here and if i write def here so we have abc as well we have def as well and that is what we thought to make so this spread operator is really helpful and is used very much in react so this help to maintain the immutability of the object as well so what that immutability mean is Whenever we define certain object and we make that we reference that object in another variable, on changing that another variable, the parent object also get changed. But after doing spread, the parent variable won't get changed. So it might get little confusing. So let's see an example. I will just write here. So I make one const. ARR 
const let's make object is equal to a a, a b c and b d e r so i will make another const object 2 is equal to object 2 is equal to obj object so now what i will do is object 2 dot a is equal to i will set it to x y j and whenever i run it now i changed the object 2 right but whenever i log console dot whenever i log object 1 see i am seeing that object 1 also get changed see object 1 get changed xyz and bf def but this xyz change was done in object 2 not in object 1 but also object 1 get get changed so to solve this issue we do use spread operator so let's see how spread operator help in solving this issue so i will copy this for now and i will clear out this and i will again make object so this is already declared so it is saying error so let's make object 3 and let's make object object 4 and object 4 and which will spread out object 3 so now let's do object 4 dot a is equal to m n o and let's log object 3 so now see i change object 4 a property to m n o but object 3 don't get changed now because we have cloned the object 3 in object 4 so that this change in object 4 will not be affected in object 3 so this is the main importance of spread operator it help to maintain the immutability of the object so spread operator can be used in array as well so let's see i make one array is equal to one two three so i can spread array 2 is equal to what i can do is to spread the array i i need to do it in big bracket so i can spread arr as well so when i console log arr 2 so this will be logging the same array and with spread operator in array we can do like we can do push in the array as well i will do like this arr and i can push one i can push four five six here and what it will do is let's see by logging now it will add four five six on the array that is present in arr so in this way spread operator can do some push in array as well so that's the use of spread operator in javascript so that's all for this session and in next session we will learn about object destructuring also called props destructuring in react so thank you for watching